Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse DC Direct Birth 2 Superman. This is the Valve's Odd Superman. This is part of the newest Page Puncher wave, which is a Superman themed wave. I got this guy at Target along with the rest of the wave, so let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, traditional Page Puncher clamshell, DC, McFarlane Toys, includes exclusive comic book in the English language. DC Direct. Earth 2 Superman. Here he is on package. Doesn't look like there's any traditional accessories, but collector's card and display stand. Pretty blank on both sides. At the back, here is the comic Superman Ghost of Krypton, issue 3 of 4. And at the bottom, there is his barcode, in case that helps. So with no further ado, let's open him up. And I also got the Platinum Chase variant of Valzad. This is the one that has the big bulky armor. And I did pick up the entire page printer wave at Target, including the Platinum Chase variant of Valzod and Brainiac. Another wave checked off the list. Alright, now that these figures are out of the package, here they are with all their accessories laid out. They each come with a display stand, a collector's card, and then the comic. Superman Ghost of Krypton number 3 of 4. The Platinum Chase variant of Valzod comes with this big, large removal armor set, which is really cool. Before I load all that, Let's talk about and check out the figures. So this is Valzod, Superman of Earth 2, and it's kind of confusing, but if I recall correctly, the original Earth 2 was destroyed in Crescent Infinite Earths. The Superman of Earth 2 from the Crescent Infinite Earths wave is a fantastic figure, but it's a more traditional looking Superman. He was even brought back from life in Blackest Night as a Black Lantern Superman. And then there's a completely new Earth 2 multiverse, and that's where Valzod comes from. Now, Valzod, and like I said, if I remember correctly, was the adopted brother of Kal-El on that version of Krypton. And when that version of Krypton just got destroyed or blew up, they sent Valzad to Earth instead of Kal-El, and he became the Superman of that Earth. Should have the exact same powers, Kryptonian Earth, Fly, Laser Eyes, Frost Breath, Invincibility, Super Strength, etc, etc. It's a different character as far as I'm concerned. I plan to add him to my Superman family in my main continuity, my action figure world. So let's take a look. So, here he is, Valzod, the Black Superman. He's got a pretty good line here, although there's a small paint error in the middle, which is kind of noticeable. He looks pretty good. No problem with the head sculpt. As we go down, he has this bulky sort of armored suit. It has a lot of texture. This is the exact same body, I believe, as the Superman figure, but we will check that out in detail as the video progresses. These really ugly hands, I believe they started with the infected Superman way back when. Shins painted white, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, cloth soft goods cape. And it's pretty nice. It drapes pretty nice this way, but if you want, you can also sort of drape it over the front and a little bit more there. So overall, a cool figure from a character that I didn't really care about that much, but I'm happy to build the Superman team family. And then we also have the Platinum Chase variant. This one here is in the big bulky armor and it is different than Superman's armor. The armor is removable, having almost the exact same figure underneath with some very minor differences. So, this armor, it looks like something out of Warhammer, and it screams Todd McFarlane designed. There's spikes all over it, big giant blades. We have what looks like, almost like the head of a monster on the side. You can see the eyes. Similar type thing here. Like I said, spikes all over it. More blades. Different cool designs. Bulky. Warhammer-esque. Very cool. He's got this thing here to sort of help him breathe. Another cloth soft goods cape. Like I said, it's going to be the same figure underneath. And a closer look at its face and head sculpt. It looks pretty good for the most part. And then here are the figures, broken down as far as they can go with all their removal parts detached. Nothing removable on the regular version, but the armor comes off on the platinum version. Now check out their accessories, starting off with the boring stuff. Here's their display stand, typical McFarland stand we've seen a million times before. It's very flat, it's very basic, but it gets the job done. Here's his collector's card. As you can see, both the regular version and the Planet of Chase have the exact same collector's card. It's a replica of the cover of Superman Ghost of Krypton number 3. Personally, I think the Planet of Chase variant should have something different than the collector's card. 
in the earlier waves they had sort of a foil board around it something like that but whatever it is what it is as you can see superman ghost of krypton number three valves on the front earth 2 superman on the back there is a description if you want to read that pause now then we have this comic superman ghost of krypton number three Superman goes to Krypton. You can see Val Zod on the front here. Inside the issue, Superman, he's got his blue armor, and then he puts on the bear armor. He has some breathing here to help with the atmosphere on Brainiac's ship. The next page, he meets an old friend, Val Zod. Then they work together, which is pretty cool. Like I said, Superman family working together. At the end of the issue, they have to team up to take on Brainiac. And then in here, we also have cool previews for some of the previous page puncher waves. The Aquaman wave, fighting the frozen wave, backside says DC. Here's a look at Superman Ghost of Krypton numbers one through four. Each figure comes with a corresponding comic and I'm sure you can tell which figure comes with which comic. Now it's really cool, they actually give us four different issues. So we have a whole story to explain this wave of figures. The previous couple waves of page punchers had four different cover variations of the same issue. And before that, they even had the same covers of only issue number one. Now we have a full story to tell. Now the only thing I think they could still do better with the comics is give the Platinum Chase variants a cover variant of sorts. They did that with some of the previous waves, but not this one. Just duplicate covers of Valzad and Brainiac. Then we have his armor pieces. He has a total of seven of them. Each piece has sort of a little piece in the back. It's got a little peg that's going to plug into there. And they actually stay pretty sturdy together. That allows you to take the armor off this guy. You can potentially put it onto another figure. A lot of options here. Here's the Platinum Chase version of Valzad without the armor. And here he is with the armor attached. Now I'm going to check out the differences and similarities between these two Valzad figures. On the left is the regular version. On the right, the Platinum Chase variant that normally has the armor. So let's take a look. Starting with their heads, exactly the same. Capes, also exactly the same. As you go further down, the body is 100% identical, and I believe it to be identical to the Superman as well. Now, the only real difference I see is this guy has painted shins, this guy does not. In addition to that, this guy has gloved hands, this guy does not. And that is about it. Beyond that, it's the same figure, except obviously the big bulky armor. And they have both Superman, Clark Kent, Kal-El, and then they have Valzad Superman, both in the blue armored suit. And they pretty much have 100% the same sculpt. So let's take a look at them. Obviously their heads are completely different. As we go further down, the armored suit looks to be exactly the same. We have the Superman logo here, the armor, the different texturing. This guy has a different set of hands. He has armor on his hands and he has ungloved hands. The belt's the same. Even the legs are the same, although painted a little bit differently. The cape is even the same. So it's 100% the same figure, different head. But this one here, they just slapped some old hands on there. And I hate this pair of hands. I think they look very ugly. And now to check out the differences between the bulky armored Superman and the Putnam Chase bulky armored Valve's Odd. And to my surprise, the armor is not exactly the same. I figured it was the same, just repainted differently. So the breathing apparatus is probably the same. Now, the shoulder pads are completely different. You can see there are some similarities. You know what? They're, they're very similar, but they are different. This one has a spike in the middle. This one doesn't. This side is completely different. Then we got the gloves. Completely different on both sides. The chest armor, that part also different. I can see tubes and stuff here that I can't see on his, at least not the same. The sort of crotch piece, that does look to be the same. And then the boots, also considerably different. So pretty impressed they didn't just slap the same thing on, paint it with like a gray purple here, silver gold here, call it a day. Now they've taken a pretty good look at the figure and his accessories. Now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, Standing at about 7.7, maybe 7.8 inches tall, which can translate to about 19 and a half centimeters. And for his articulation. 
starting with his head of course it can rotate from side to side he can look up not much straight ahead down can't tilt his head from one side to the other shoulders on a ball joint goes out about 90 degrees be a hair less up down around all that good stuff he does have this butterfly ring between his shoulder and chest increasing the range of motion and cover the large gap that would be there bicep cut below that double jointed elbows they go in about that far his wrist can rotate and it's going to be hinged ball joint his torso rotate around forward and back another one is waist rotate around forward and back between the two pretty good range of motion in the torso area legs almost complete as the splits McFarland style hip joints rotation it's minimal but there his legs go four about that far go to the side a little bit more back not much double jointed knees and then his ankle forward and back rotate tilt rock and of course to articulation here's a look at both the platinum chase armored valzad and the regular one they're standing in the streets of metropolis behind a bunch of ruins including the daily planet he's geared up armored up and ready for revenge now let's check them out next to some other action figures starting off with some other valzad figures here they are next to a mattel superman of earth 23 which i kind of thought was a valzad figure but apparently this is kal-el of earth 23 and then valzad is the brother of kal-el from earth 2. and i told you these page punchers were enormous Look at them next to the Hush Batman, which is usually considered to be way too big compared to the other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. My god, look at this Valzad. Batman there is about 7.4 inches tall, Valzad about 7.8. Here's Valzad next to all the different Superman family members that they've made. We have the Karazorel, Supergirl, Steel, Valzad, then the Connell Superboy, Connor, and then the John Kent Superboy, and then Crypto the Superdog. And a lot of these figures had variants. Just like Valzad. We have four different versions of the Karazaro Supergirl, two versions of Valzad, one version of John Kent, one version of Connor Kent, two versions of Steel, and two versions of Crypto. Now, McFarlane, where the hell is our Lois Lane? Here are these Valzad figures, next to several different McFarlane Superman figures. These Valzads are just way too big. Now, let's check them out. Next to some other recently released McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to the rest of this page puncher wave. Ghosts of Krypton. We have both versions of Brainiac, regular and Platinum Chase. Both versions of Valzad, regular and Platinum Chase. The Armored Superman, and the Ghost of General Zod. Now don't forget, there's also a four-pack of these guys in the black and white line art sketch editions. Here are these Valzad figures, next to the Tart exclusive Cassandra Kane Batgirl and Rival. And here they are, next to the most recent Batman wave. We have both the regular and blue Platinum Chase versions of Azrael and his Batman armor, the black and gray version of the Nightfall Batman, and then both the regular and Platinum Chase versions of the first appearance Detective Comics number 27 Batman. Then, next to the JLA wave, we have both the regular and Platinum Chase versions of Superman, both the regular and Platinum Chase versions of Aquaman, the Black Suit Batman, two completed versions of Black Superman, and then both the regular and Platinum Chase variants of the John Stewart Green Lantern. And now, Next to the Digital Wave, we have the Silver Age Hal Jordan Green Lantern, the DC Rebirth Batman, and the DC Classics Aquaman. Here they are, next to the Amazon exclusive Kilowog and Kyle Rayner Green Lantern 2-pack. And finally, next to the Walmart exclusive Wally West Flash and Vampire Nightwing. Now let's talk about next to some action figures from different various companies, so we can see how they fit in both scale and style-wise, in case you have no signs you can mix them with, since they're McFarland toys. They're typically the 7 inch scale, even though these guys are a little bit larger. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the large action figure lines I collect and work my smaller. But first, let's check them out with some of his McFarland Toys brothers. In Freddy, we have five different action figure lines, all from McFarland Toys, all 7 inch scale. And now, with some Jack specific wrestling figures and some DST or Devon Select toys. Here they are, next to a banana. And here they are, with some DC Direct and NECA figures. Then, with both some Mattel and Jazzwares wrestling figures, and now with some Mezco and Mattel DC figures. Next, with some Mafex and Hasbro Marvel Legends, and finally, with some SHV arts and some Jazzwares Fortnite figures. So overall, it's cool to have a Valve's Odd figure, 
but it's a character I don't have much of a connection with. It's not a figure I really wanted. When I finally make him, I'm like, okay, cool. Another stupid ally I can add him to the collection. Now, here are the things I don't like about the figure. He is way, way too tall. The Hush Batman is too tall, and this guy makes that guy seem like a little shrimp. The ankles, the old ball joints. I think these figures were sculpted a long time ago, or just sitting, waiting to be put out. They're kind of hard to stand at times. Very top-heavy. Now, beyond that, the sculpt, the texture on the suit is fantastic. I like that he's sort of Superman with a totally different color scheme. And then we have the armored version. That's just all kind of fun. You can remove the armor. You can swap it with a Superman. You can put on different figures. So you have Valzad here in his normal look, which is what I kind of prefer. But then you have him in his Warhammer type armor, which is just, like I said, all kind of cool. So if I were to rate these figures, well, sculpt and paint shop is pretty good, although it's the exact same body as Superman. Articulation is everything you expect from a modern McFarlane DC Multiverse figure, except for the ball joints and the ankles. Those things are kind of horrible. His accessories are almost non-existent, besides the armor version, which is only the Platinum Chase. If I were to rate these figures, probably going to give... Maybe the regular one, like a 6.5, and the armored one a 7, something like that. Not a bad figure, but he's way too tall. Some aspects are dated. And it's really just a character that I don't think I needed exactly. Still, I welcome him to the collection. Another Superman ally. Fantastic. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys real soon.